Little man sleeping. He's so cute. Herpin? Yes, thank you. What are you doing? Um, I was just getting a few bits sorted while he's asleep. Oh. Because I don't think it's going to last much longer. He doesn't longer. sleep that long. No. Um, um, little man sleeping down here. Hello everyone. Sorry, it's... I... <laughs> We recorded that video I just posted uh, with the photo shoot like two weeks ago. It was last weekend. Oh, last week. Whatever. It's so confusing. Last week. I forgot to edit that and stuff. Anyway, it's done now. Hello to the lovely person. I can't remember the name. Who just said she wished we posted every day. I wish we posted every day too. But it's a ball ache having one of those. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> And it's quite hard to have interesting content every day. So we will do as much as we can, as often as we can. Unless it all takes off and blows up and we're somehow discovered or something. <laughs> um, then we may be able to do more. Yeah, but, uh, get us discovered and you can see us every day. Yeah. Although, uh, Pete hasn't seen a shower for, for weeks. Yes, I have. <laughs> Stinky bee! I bean. sometimes manage to shower now, it's very exciting. <laughs> exciting having a shower? Yeah. Uh. Sometimes he lets me shower. <laughs> Pina's a wonky scar, which is hilarious. Her little C section scar's like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's funny. I can't show you, but. Oh, why not? Or is it too far down? It's quite far down. Oh. It's quite far down, but that's it's a good thing because no one gets to see it. But it is, it'll be like. It'll go to nothing, it's like tiny. It's been even ages, it's pretty rare. Anyway, I'm I. It's Penny's birthday on Tuesday. It's Sunday, by the way. I'm going to make Pete a cake birthday. on my own, simply by Google instructions. <laughs> so um, we'll see how well that turns out later. Hopefully, quite well. Although I'm not sure. I love cake. <laughs> the Brit vlog. Nine cat approved. So the other morning. Um, when Archie got up, it was probably about, actually I knew it was, it was half past five, and he, um, had some milk, as always, he always has milk, um, and then I think it was about, probably about quarter past six-ish, by the time, like, he spends about 20 minutes feeding, and then... I sit him up for like another 15, 20 minutes, try and get the wind out, doesn't usually work during the nights and mornings, whatever. And then he decided that instead of going back to sleep like he normally does, he would be awake. But it wasn't too painful because um, he'd had like an amazing seven hours sleep. So it wasn't like too painful, but he was wide awake, but quite happy and content and quiet. So we did some online shopping. So he sat on my lap, um, while I went on the computer and bought loads of stuff. <laughs> um, I've been meaning like to get some bits, like I wanted to get um, sort out the presents for Father's Day and sort out like um, look for photo albums and a memory box for him. So um, we did that really. Um, most of the stuff came yesterday and I was feeding him upstairs in bed and Aidan had to go down, I think, about four times because different parcels kept arriving, so that was quite amusing. So, and this is his memory box, which we started, or well, I've started, um, which I think is very cute. Um, from Next, actually, like, not actually that expensive. Um, so what we've got in so far, I've got all his cards that people sent him. Got quite a few cards, so I've just tied them up. So they're there. Um, we've got this little teddy which was on his balloon that he had in the hospital. And um, he was in the paper with my dad this week. So I've kept a copy of that for him. Um, my dad um, had, I think, I think it was maybe like two years ago now. Um, he had a he's he's had heart problems he had a heart attack quite a few years ago and he had a bypass and then he was in the cinema um like two years ago or whatever it was and he had he watched the film he came out my mum went to the loo and he was waiting in like the hall bit for her and he had a cardiac arrest um and 
there were two off-duty police ladies who were going to see another film and they were just about to go into their um, screen so we couldn't yeah into their screen um, and the one girl saw my dad like slump against the wall and slide down and so she um, started CPR on him straight away um, shouted to like some one of the staff and there's a gym next door to the cinema and she went or someone went there and grabbed a defibrillator which they had so um, the two girls I think um, were, well <laughs> working on him for like about 15 minutes before the ambulance arrived and everything um, they shocked him with the the defib and everything and they they saved his life basically um, if you have a cardiac arrest away from hospital it's actually like very rare like you're gonna survive because unless someone's there in those very first seconds that's when it matters so um, anyway gonna waffle on for a long time <laughs> um, so my mum nominated them for um, a Gloucestershire Hero Award which is going on down here um, run by the local paper and they're in the finals and so someone came out last week to take photos and do a little video um, yeah I know it is sidetracking but I was showing them the thing <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's why he was in the paper with my dad um, I think they've gone for the angle of um, if if the police ladies weren't there then my dad wouldn't be here to see his grandson which is obviously a very nice way to go so it's very sweet um, Archie wasn't impressed with the photography thing he was screaming um, he was suffering with his colic that day bless him so he wasn't feeling that great and then they made me do a bit on the video um, and he was screaming through that and was also sick so I don't think they'd be using my bit <laughs> um, and then anyway back to the memory box and we've also got this little bag of bits and bobbies so um, I have kept the hospital bands I've kept mine and his um, he had one on each foot um, then that little thing there is his ear Bud thing he had a hearing test a couple of weeks ago and those are the little bits she took off she said like did I want to keep them I was like um yeah sure why not I've kept everything else um, that's a bit of cotton wool with a bit of his blood on it <laughs> you want to think well, where we are now um from when he had his heel prick test um we've got gift tags from presents that he's had that's a plaster from one of his heel prick tests and then somewhere, oh, is it not in there? Oh no, it's still upstairs. Um, I've kept the clip that had his cord clamped. Um, it's also got a bit of the cord still attached, which is pretty mank, I know. <laughs> We've kept that as well. Um, so that's all like nice little bits to like go in his box. And I've got the um, pictures from the scans so they're gonna go in there as well and then just like other nice little bits like first things probably like his first um outfit maybe something like that just keep all the nice little bits for him and it's nice memories for well for me and for him because he won't be won't be tiny for for very long he's already grown i was looking through the photos on my phone last night because he wouldn't go to sleep um so i was looking through all the photos on my phone and like he's already like grown it's amazing he's five weeks old today very cute so oh ah oh. well i was going to show you that he was um lying there on the back of his head because he does struggle with that because of the strange shaped head he has from growing under my ribs um but then just as i put the camera on it fell over <laughs> he has started sort of um um lying a little bit on the back of his head it has shrunk back I say shrunk back it was never in the first place it shrunk like to a normal sized head normal shaped head a little bit but um not he's waking up it's very cute that's a big yawn <laughs> he'll cry now because he wants milk <laughs>
Um, but I was saying to Aiden this morning, I don't actually know whether it's gonna like go back or go to a normal shaped head because it wasn't like it was normal and then it got squashed. It's grown that way. Um, but he's um, got to see a few like consultants for his hips and stuff to make sure they're okay. So I um, might try and ask what they think about it. But anyway, I shall have to go now because I need to go and feed him. I've been asleep on mummy after some, some noms and he peeing. Yeah. He's been up for a long time. He's been doing lots of farts. It's very funny. <laughs> right, I'm embarking on cake manufacture. Very much the first cake I've ever made in my life without supervision. It's probably going to be awful. I've got a guide, some eggs, and some other stuff. I'm not sure what's going on there. Right, we have some ingredients. Almost without in equal amounts in relation to the eggs. Okay, so I forgot to put the food colouring in. Until I have tried putting it in. <laughs> so it's supposed to be a pink cake, but I've just sort of done my best to mix it in so it's going to be like a marble effect cake. <laughs> I don't think it's the right consistency or anything, so if this comes out even marginally edible, I'm going to be super surprised. <laughs> it's in. Right, Peen. We may have to buy you a cake for your birthday, which we're actually going to eat. <laughs> Why? I don't know. If it turns out to be edible, that'll be a pretty impressive uh, feat. Didn't look like cake was supposed to look. I'm clean. I've repainted the kitchen in cake mixture colour. <laughs> Why didn't it look like a cake should look? I don't know. It looked more like dough. Like dough? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. Probably have to buy a cake. We shall see. So Mummy and Archie were asleep most of the day. No. Yeah, most of the day. No, not mm. Oh, a little man yawning. That's so cute. Mm. I napped too. Now I'm tired. <laughs> You're tired. Yeah. Pete's gonna make food now while, while I look after a, a little, little Archie. Oh. Archie, Archie woos. Yeah. He's a good boy. Sort of. He's not been a bad boy today. He's been good. Making funny noises. Not too bad. I'll burp him properly. And since you just try and fold him in half. Okay, great, thanks. Peen just had a nice poo issue, didn't you, Peen? Um, you had some poo on Peen. quite an issue. Yeah. We had a major leakage. It was quite explosive. And it came out onto his trousers on. We're disgusting! To my pyjamas. You're disgusting, little man! So we've both changed. <laughs> so, I don't think it's quite as bad as I previously envisioned. Oh, now it's making a horrible note. There we go. Ta da! A cake! Of some description. I was going to make two, but we don't have tin two, two tins of the same, so I'm going to attempt to cut this in half. It's probably not going to go too well. It's probably going to fall apart, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so after battling through the numerous pots of 2010 dated uh, food colouring. I found some that works. Ah! I've made the filling for the cake. Beans in the lounge, so shh. I don't know whether we said, but this is Bean's birthday cake. Sort of my present, making her a cake myself without help. It's bloody hard making cake. Here's my marble effect cake. It's got like a little colour swirl going through it. Top doesn't look great, but once it's got some icing on, it'd be nice. But I think, to be fair, that's much better than I thought it was going to be. It turns out I'm a baker. I think that's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I don't know whether I've put enough icing stuff in. Uh, I hope I have. Looks alright. I'm quite proud of that, to be honest. Got to do the rest of it now. Almost there. I think it looks not bad for my first attempt at cake. I'm hoping now the taste will like overcome the sloppiness of the work. Now to decorate. Oh, it sounds a lot like Bane. I don't know if you've seen the Batman movies, but I think this sounds like Bane. I think it sounds like Bane. What do you think, Archie? Archie agrees with me. What do you agree, Archie? <laughs> he agrees. Get in there. Looks pretty cool. Here we go. A birthday cake. What do we think? Is it good? I think that I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty impressed. 
swapping things. Is somebody sleeping on mummy's shoulder? <laughs> oh man. I don't really sleep. Do you, you can do the arm test when you're sleeping. Just nothing happens. He's just all floppy. Floppy arm. You funny you boy. Hear the baby snores. Little baby snore. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Pete's going to see our exciting cake. I've made a close her eyes. No, no peekies, Pete. No peekies. Okay. There's a step soon. There's a step now. <laughs> now there's a step. <laughs> there it is, Peen. It's gonna be. It's very exciting. It's possibly the best cake you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> Where is it? It's this. Oh, turn around. Don't open your eyes yet. Okay. Ready. Open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Made your cake. Aww. It's better than I thought it was gonna be. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. Better than I way better than I thought it was going to be. I don't think it might even be semi-edible. <laughs> That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Nice icing, cool stuff on it. I'd been not allowed to have any till Tuesday. Oh. I was gonna, I was gonna try and bake one like Monday, Monday evening. But after doing all this, no, not after work. So Can't, do that. Do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Happy oh, baby. Nice cake. You can have some on Tuesday. Okay. Well, you can have some now if you want, but I don't know. Uh, it's not really your birthday. I think that's a bit cheaty. Is it going to like keep there? I don't know what anything about keep cakes. It till Tuesday. Is it? Is it going to be um, okay still? Yeah, we'll put it in a tin. Oh, but it's not going to fit with my cool stuff on it. Um. Where does it go in the fridge? Or just in a tin. Just a tin. Hmm. We don't have a tin big enough, I don't think. Oh. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. Apparently this is what they call active sleep. Oh, not anymore, he's got his eyes closed. But he does like that for like hours in the night, he'll just like lie there, fully asleep, but making weird grunty noises and doing that basically. But while he's asleep, it's very weird. Peen doesn't like it, do you Peen? No, because I can't sleep through it. Oh. Peen's failing to find somewhere to put my epic cake. My biggest tin doesn't fit it. It's because it's so it's I'm packed sure full of awesomeness. What to do with it. You can't fit that much awesome in a tin. I don't want it to like because that's gonna dry out, isn't it? I don't know. Right, Pete's gonna cover the cake ready for Tuesday, and then we're off to bed because it's a school night. Hello. Little man's waking up, so I have to feed him before he goes to bed and stuff. Just sort of making stupid faces and noises and stuff. <laughs> this cute little duck bib. Hello, Archie. <gasps> Hello. You know what I'm fine of that. Anyway, uh, content wise, if anyone has any other ideas, suggestions, anything they want us to do, whether it's Peen or me on our own or just together or whatever, any suggestions or anything you want us to try or do content wise, let us know and we'll give it a go. Why not? Uh, on that note, we shall end without doing a gay little dance. No. <laughs> and then uh, we shall see everyone next time. Bye. Bye, Chi.